In this lecture, we're going to look through an example of solving a differential equation to find the output of a system for a given input and set of initial conditions. So we're defining a system in terms of the differential equation d squared dt squared y of t plus 3d dt y of t plus 2y of t is equal to 10x of t. We want to find out the output of this system if the input is x of t is cosine of t times u of t. The initial conditions at time t equals 0 minus are minus 4 for y, and the derivative of y at time t equals 0 minus is 3. So our solution involves two components, a steady state response and a transient response. And we're going to begin with the steady state response y sub s of t. We want to write the input in a steady state form as a sum of exponentials. And because this input is a cosine, that's easy to do. We can express cosine of t as 1 half e to the jt plus 1 half e to the minus jt. And that tells us that in this form, alpha 1 equals alpha 2 is a half. We have s1 is j and s2 is equal to minus j. To find y sub s, we need to know the transfer function h of s, which is just the ratio of these two polynomials in s involving the coefficients of the differential equation, and using the fact that b0 is 10, a0 is 2, a1 is 3, and a2 is 1, we can write h of s as 10 over s squared plus 3s plus 2. So we know that the steady state response takes this form alpha 1 h of s1 e to the s1 t plus alpha 2 h of s2 e to the s2 t where h of s is 10 over s squared plus 3s plus 2 and since s1 is j in this particular case we have 1 half h of j e to the jt plus 1 half h of minus j e to the minus jt for the specific output for this system. We can solve for h of j and h of minus j easily enough. Just plugging j in for s, we end up with 10 over minus 1 plus 3j plus 2. That can be combined to 10 over 1 plus 3j. And I'm going to move the imaginary part into the numerator by multiplying the denominator and the numerator by 1 minus 3j, the conjugate of the denominator. And in the denominator, I get 10, and 10 times 1 minus 3j in the numerator. So this just simplifies to 1 minus 3j. We can do the same thing for h of minus j, substituting minus j in for s in h of s. We obtain minus 1 minus 3j plus 2 in the denominator, and of course 10 in the numerator, and following the same sort of simplification process, this can be written as the complex number 1 plus 3j. So now that I have h of j and h of minus j, I can substitute those into this expression to find my expression for the steady state output of the system. And so we'll have the 1 half times 1 times e to the jt, that's this 1 here, minus 3j e to the jt, plus 1 e to the minus jt, that's h of minus j, the real part, plus 3j e to the minus jt. And then grouping the terms that are real and imaginary, I can rewrite this expression as e to the jt plus e to the minus jt, divided by 2, and then I'm going to take this j, which was in the numerator of these two terms, put it in the denominator, of course that changes the sign, so we end up with 3 times e to the jt minus e to the minus jt divided by 2j. And I wrote it this way because we can recognize this as the form of a sinusoidal signal, and this of course is a cosine, so our answer for the steady state component of the output is that y sub s of t is cosine of t plus 3 sine of t. Now that we've found the steady state response, we can find the transient response of the system. We know that y sub t of t takes the form, the sum from l equals 1 to n, constants c sub l times e to the sl tilde t. And these sl tildes are the roots of the characteristic equation. 
substituting for a2, a1, and a0, the characteristic equation becomes s squared plus 3s plus 2 equals 0. We can easily factor that polynomial as s plus 2 times s plus 1, and therefore we see that s1 tilde is minus 2, s2 tilde is minus 1. And our transient response takes the form c1 e to the minus 2t plus c2 e to the minus t. And we note that our solution method is applicable here because these roots of the characteristic equation are distinct from the values s1 and s2 that we used in solving for the steady state response. So our complete solution then is the sum of the steady state and the transient terms, and that becomes y of t is equal to cosine of t plus 3 sine t plus c1 e to the minus 2t plus c2 e to the minus t. And this solution applies when t is greater than 0. We're going to find the coefficients c1 and c2 using the initial conditions, which were given as y of 0 minus is equal to minus 4, and the derivative of y at t equals 0 minus is equal to 3. And I've restated the solution here that we're trying to solve for c1 and c2. Now on the right hand side of the original differential equation we had 10x of t. And if the input is cosine of t u of t, then there are no impulses or derivatives of impulses on the right hand side at t equals 0. And in that case, we know that the initial conditions at t equals 0 minus are also the initial conditions at t equals 0 plus. If there were impulses, we'd have to somehow translate those initial conditions, and that procedure is beyond the scope of what we're doing here. So we can use these initial conditions to write equations for c1 and c2 and substituting for y of 0 plus, that's going to be minus 4. And if I put 0 plus in this equation, I have cosine of 0 plus 3 sine of 0 plus c1 plus c2. And similarly, if I take the derivative of this equation and evaluate that at time t equals 0, I have 3, my initial condition on the derivative, is negative sine of 0 plus 3 cosine of 0, minus 2c1, minus c2. You can simplify those equations by evaluating the sine and cosine, and we end up with negative 5 is equal to c1 plus c2 from the first equation, and then 0 is equal to negative 2c1 minus c2. We then solve these two equations in two unknowns for c1 and c2, and if you simply add the two equations, you get negative 5 is equal to negative c1, so we conclude c1 is equal to 5, and therefore it follows that c2 has to be equal to negative 10. So our final solution, the output of this particular system in response to this input and this set of initial conditions, is y of t is cosine of t plus 3 sine of t plus 5e to the minus 2t minus 10e to the minus t, and that solution applies for t greater than 0.